Hello, hello friends, Dapper Drabby here. Welcome back to a pack opening. We are have ourselves a Lost Thunder pre-release kit here, if it will focus on it. There we go. Zorua, 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 and three packs that we bought when we were at pre-releases. Just an extra Lost Thunder opening here today. We're gonna see what we get. Um, I did go back to the same shop yesterday and was playing a um, playing a league tournament, and I ended up getting fourth place in that with Malamar. Oh, come on, Macargo. Macargo, focus. I don't think it's going to focus on it. But it's a pretty cool Macargo card. It has that fourth place stamp on it. If it'll focus. Man, it was, it was working earlier. That's what I'm like, come on about. See, the camera just doesn't like to focus quite right. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's just going to be a thing, I guess. But I guess let's get into the box first and see what we get. Because that's what I'm most excited to see. If I get a different promo than what I've, I've had prior. And it is a Giratina promo. We were looking for that. And we got four packs here. Let's see what the Giratina promo actually came with, though. Because I am intrigued. It is the Wiggly Tough line, so I will never have enough Wigglies apparently. But I get another Naganado, so that can go directly into a uh, a deck. I can mix it up with uh, with Turtonator and uh, and what's his face? What is his face? What is his face? His face is uh, Lacephalon. It's one of the cards I got from one of my pre-releases. Here we go. Let's look the Giratina over here. So it always has something to focus on, maybe? Doesn't want to focus on it over there. Okay, so. Start with the Giratina. We got four packs. One of each kind. So we'll start with the Lugia pack here. Sorry for the shadows. I guess I I don't have it set up very perfectly on, uh, <clears throat> on my desk here. I have this, like, kind of weird setup where I have a, uh, have a... a my webcam on like a little little uh switch stand and uh, you see it's, co it's constant uh i don't know okay creates a glare on my face if i put more light on it though and makes it blurry it does not want to focus so we are starting things off with no lightning energy there we go eevee come on eevee focus there we go Hop it. Hey, picky peck. Durant has that uh, knockover and mountain munch. I ah, see. I don't want this to be so blurry. That's what I'm wondering. Do I need to do like this? Because right now it's focusing on my hand. I don't have the best camera. I'm still trying to work on it. I wish I could have like an autofocus on it, but I don't. I know it focuses if I have it way up here. Yeah, it does. Cub Chew. Electro Power. That's a nice card to get. Delibird has that happy delivery. Oops. Bayleaf. Reverse is a Go Goat, which is an uncommon. It's a pretty cool artwork. I love like the little chibi looking skidoo in the back. Leaf Wallop and Solar Beam, and our rare is a Houndoom with that nasty plot. It's plotting against us. So who knows what we can actually build with this. Energy, we're going to guess is a Grass. Psychic Energy for those Malamar builds. Okay, let's start things off with Bruxious. Yep, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I gotta, gotta figure this out. I guess Durant, a Mareep with that fluffy pillow. This is a state of mind, everybody. This is a state of mind. That fluffy pillow once during your attack before your turn, or no, once during your turn before your attack. Sorry, this Pokemon is your active Pokemon. You may leave your opponent's Pokemon asleep. Mareep taking games. 
Last Resort, Vampy, a Ninkata, Pinsler, Grovile, Custom Catcher, that's a nice card to get, a Zatu is our reverse, and our rare is a Steelix with that 180 HP. Nothing so far, and that, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I'm still going to give you guys this code. There you guys go. A Lost Thunder code. Let me know what you get now that it's going to be released on the PTCGO. And the uh, energy is going to be fire. It's another Psychic energy. Looks like I'm supposed to be playing Psychic here. Um, but who knows. Okay, so we got Combi. Maybe. Maybe. Do we have Combi? Come on. You, I know you can focus here. I know you can focus here. I had you focused here before. It's like I just gotta reset the camera every time I go to one up here. Hey, a lit Leo. Cutie fly. Hop it anonymous with the multiply. Eevee is blurring away. Sorry if this hurts you guys' eyes. I'm not trying to make it that way, it just is what it is. There's his out to you. Sableye. Brion. Reverse is a, a Rabombi. Has that mysterious uh, buzz. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects done to that for your done to your fairy Pokemon in play. And our rare is that Milk Cannon. Milk Cannon Mill Tank. I think it does. Reveal any number of movement milks in your hand. This attack does 60 damage for each card you reveal in this way. That is a crazy attack. <clears throat> so I was tempted to make a pre-release deck like really quickly. But I don't think I'm going to have time to do that. I really don't want to waste you guys' time. We have the continuous headbutt, Pineco. Hey, Combi with the B, Marge. Lit Leo. I keep going wrong side. There we go. Cutie Fly. Hop it with the Multiply. A Heracross has those powerful friends. If you have any stage 2 on your bench, this attack does 90 more damage. A Fairy Charm, because there's never enough of those. Floral Path to the Sky, the Skip Loom. A Reverse is that Bruxious and a rare Grand Bull. And you know what's funny? Is we pulled absolutely zero Snubbles. I pulled like three cutie flies button and like three lit leos but no yeah i don't see a single uh i don't see a single snubble in the lot there which is a little unfortunate yeah so i'm pretty sure that there's not much going on in these four packs this is a, a pre-release deck that's going to be the uh, the Giratina Wigglytuff, uh, quite a strong one that will be. Although I did get the I did get the Deli Bird, so maybe Wigglytuff is not terrible because I can search out those Fairy Charms and get them up right away. So I'll just set this in a pile of its own, just off camera. We have three more prize packs here. And we'll start with Lugia again see what we get inside here might as well got seven packs see what's inside of them one two three and an energy drop the energy it is a fighting energy you can throw that away real fast we have spin rack this is technically another loss marcher with that spider scram if you can uh get that grass energy on a uh area dose and have a yeah i don't know you can also just get rid of him, but you could. There's a way to get rid of him and Ariados, which I think is actually kind of fun. <clears throat> Fairy Charm, a Ninjask, Magirna with the minor Aaron running. Just, just we gotta run Aaron real fast. Search your deck for two basic energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Energy press is attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, that's a beautiful card to get. That's a great card to get. Zeb Strike a Reverse and our rare is actually Septile. Septile GX. Those are that's a beautiful pack right there. That's a great prize pack right there. Septile and a Zeb Striker. I can't complain about that at all. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a code here. 
One, two, three. Energy. Energy is a uh, psychic energy. I feel like we're getting a lot of those right now. Let's uh, let's turn Zeb Striker back open, cause that's a nice pull. We got the Alolan Diglett. Call for family, not to loss in the marching. Mini Drain Chikorita. There's a snubble. Too bad we didn't pull out in the first four packs. Making a mess. Beacon, or Beckon, sorry, Beckon the Ralts. Put a supporter card from your discard pile to your hand. A counter gain. That's a pretty nice uh, trainer to get. And oh my god, look at that area does the artwork. I have not seen this yet. Trapping thread. Whenever your opponent plays an item or supporter card from their hand during their next turn, prevent all effects of that card done to the defending Pokemon. And then poison jab. Your opponent's active point is now poisoned. Look at that artwork though. That's hilarious. A Moo Moo Milk. Cofagrius is a reverse rare for us. And our rare is a Primarina with the Harmonix. Alright, last pack. Let's pack. Let's see if there's any magic in the last pack, guys. Um, if, I can, if I can get it open without, like, destroying the pack. One, two, three. Energy. Let's just throw that away. Maybe we can get a Bless Epilon. Doubtful, though. I think we got the most. We got a Water Energy. Alright, let's see what we get in this last pack. A Combi. Blitzel. Slowpoke. Bruxious. A Larvitar with the Submerge. I hope you guys can actually use that. A Lost Blender. Now I can blend my cards without worrying about it. Silcoon has that Cacoon Collector. Kahili. A Reverse. Pachirisu. And our rare is a Alolan Persian. Yee. Yee. But I like the Sceptile here. That's That's pretty nice. It's my first regular art GX. Mock Cut is one energy for 60. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. We got Leaf Cyclone. Does 130 damage. Move a grass energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon. And then Jungle Heal. Heal all damage from each of your Pokemon that has any grass energy attached to it. 230 HP. And Zeb Strika is super nice to get. I already have a deck and I a deck idea together for Zeb Striker. Come on, focus. Focus. It's focusing on my hand, but is it focusing on them? Ah. Not for very long. Not for very long. At least it can focus on the playmat though. So I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping by. Oh, I did want to show off this real fast. The Macargo. I think I tried to earlier, it didn't work out. Um, but that's all I have for Lost Thunder today. Hopefully. Since it is, uh, I believe the, I believe Lost Thunder is releasing on PTCGO when I'm going to be posting this. I'm actually the day before, so I'm a little dressed up. I got my, my Pikachu Pokemon thing, and I figured it fits along with the, the Toon Squad headband. Um, because I loved Space Jam back in the day. Um, but with that, guys, I am going to bid you guys a Lola. I hope to see you guys in another video. Here's those two codes again if you did miss them. Um, Alola, and bye bye. I'll see you guys next time.